Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Yes. Oh! Well, that worked out quite nicely. <laughs> uh, I'm in the mood for another sort of, yeah, sort of short tutorial, so... I want to show you something. And it's basically how to go from the basic RPG Maker menus layout to this. Just have items, save, game end, your character, and whatever you want them to be, and no gold bar. I don't know how to add a timer, so I'm afraid I can't show you that, but I can show you how to at least do this. So, we're going to go, oh, before I go and mention anything, make sure you back up everything, because huge, huge, huge disclaimer, because it's always a good idea to back up anything you do when it comes to messing with scripts in any way. Mainly because of Murphy's Law in that if anything can go wrong, it will go wrong. These are very simple and minor edits, but just in case, back everything you have up. That said, we'll open Script Editor. And the first thing, don't mind this yet. <laughs> The first thing you need to go to is window base, which is in the middle right here. And what you need to do is scroll down to you till you see lines 523 to 533. These lines contain the simple status, which basically has your character face graphic, their level, their class, their health, and their mana. Blah da blah da blah. Where you see the health and the mana bar though, you'll notice that it's green and has a couple little hashtags. These hashtags are basically what tell the program not to have them visible. It still recognizes that they're there, it just doesn't allow them to show anymore. And believe me, it's a lot better than just deleting your lines. Because otherwise that will cause a whole host of problems when, with some of the other items. It's just better to do the hashtag. It'll save your sanity in the long run. And on top of that, if something messes up, bloop, and it's back. That's all you gotta do. So, I'm going to put that back. I said put that, oh, wrong button. Oh no, still wrong button! Ah! Okay, there we go. I'm gonna reapply that. <laughs> So that gets rid of the health and the mana in your status bar. Now then, we're going to go to Window Menu Command next, which is right here. And you need to go down to lines 333, I mean, no, 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 not that far down, oh gosh. <laughs> you need to go to line 33 to 51, which has your Create Command List and Add Main Commands to List off sections. Why was I about to say options? <sighs> At line 38 is your add formation command. If you don't need it, put a hashtag in front of it and make that baby green. For further down to add main commands to list, 48 to 50 are your skill, equip, and status commands. If your game doesn't require them, again, add a hashtag. And, well, actually, I don't know if that's really even called a hashtag, because I always knew that as, like, little number crosshatch thing. Oh, gosh. Ah! Uh, anyway. Just add a little number thing, because I don't want to call it hashtag anymore. <laughs> I wonder... Well, that's something to Google later. Uh, next... We go to see menu, which is all the way back up. Well, wait, what? No, wait. It's down here. What am I saying? It's down here. And uh, we go open. Oh, dang it. See menu, and we need to go to between lines 8 to 16, so you don't have to scroll down. And at create gold window, just again put the little number sign. Oh, dang it. Knows why you betray me. This will get rid of the gold window, so it's no longer there. Next, let's 
and we're with that for the main menu we're done but there's a secondary menu for items so we need to go to windows item category and you scroll down till you see lines 38 to 46 <laughs> my dad's alarm went off uh, now if your characters will not be fighting in a form, they will not need weapon or armor, so you can just put the number sign next to them. However, if you have items and key item items in your game, if you, for whatever reason, have that distinction, you don't need to have the uh, number sign next to the key item. I just consider all items a key item, so I just don't bother with it, so they're all items to me. And that's pretty much, I didn't even make any changes, but, yeah. That all done and done. That's how you get this set up. Uh, to get it to say age and 25, though, no, let's see, database. Just to show it really quick, all I did was change the basic status and terms to of level to age. I changed the class to this, so let's say I I wanted her to um uh let's say apothecary. Why not? Oh, in caps lock. Yes, apothecary. Yeah, I probably misspelled it, but yay, she's an apothecary now. And in actors, her initial level is 25, and her max level is 25. And there she goes. Hit apply. Okay. With all that said and done, you can go back and check. Start up. And yeah, she's an apothecary and she's still 25. So there you go. Oh, and items to show. You just have items. Sorry, I like the buzzer noise. But that's really all I have to show. And hopefully this is helpful to somebody. Remember, number signs do not delete. The number signs will save your sanity and back everything up. That cannot be stressed enough. Uh, see you again when I have the urge to make a mini tutorial again. Good day.